Namaste, how are all of you? Today I'm going to be sharing with you five tips to declutter your life in various ways. Tip number one, as you go through your things and you decide what has functional benefit in your life and what does not, even though it may seem hard to give things away to someone else, remember, if it's no longer serving any functional benefit in your life, it can certainly serve functional benefit in someone else's life. So think about it as you're putting a smile on someone else's face, essentially decluttering for smiles. Tip number two, watch what you eat. I've started looking at ingredients of a lot of items that we have in the kitchen. And to my surprise, many of them have a level of sugar which is much greater than I'd feel comfortable with. In addition, I found other items where I can't even pronounce the ingredient and have no idea what it is. So look at what you're eating and see, is there a healthier alternative that is going to suit my body better? As you already know, I love to treat my body like a temple. Tip number three. How are you going through a sleep routine? Many of us may not be, you know, may be struggling with sleep, but here are a few tips that you can implement to help you get through a beautiful night's rest. Make sure that you're not having a very heavy meal, especially high protein because it's harder to digest for dinner and ensure that you have at least a two to three hour gap between your dinner and going to bed. It would also be a good idea not to use any sort of electronic devices, whether it's a mobile phone, a tablet, a laptop or a TV, at least an hour before going to sleep. Why? Because the melatonin is not going to be produced at the same level when you have all that blue light entering your eyes. Because the mind is thinking that it's still daylight. So by eliminating these electronic devices, melatonin is being produced and that allows for a better night's rest. And most importantly, make sure you're sleeping early because physical recovery based on our circadian rhythm is from about 10, 10, 30 all the way up to 2, 2, 30. And then mental recovery happens from 2, 30 a.m. till about 6, 30 a.m. So if you're going to bed at 1 or 2 a.m. and still getting seven hours or eight hours of sleep, you're not getting enough physical recovery. The fourth tip is walking. There's so many Zoom calls or other platforms that you're using for meetings. You're on your phone a lot. How about just walking around instead of sitting? During these three or four hours of meetings that I have every day, I'm just walking around the dining table. And believe it or not, I'm getting in more than 10,000 steps every single day. Can you imagine? Who would have thought, right? And the fifth and final tip, and this really, really relates to relationships. There's a lot that happens in the unsaid. A lot of assumptions are made. Now, we all know that the people that you love and you stay with, you want to enhance your relationship. So rather than making assumptions and getting angry and frustrated, how about creating a framework in which we can agree to one another that we're going to have a safe space to open up? So let me share you a framework that works. One, I'm going to listen to the other person speak. That's not the listening that the, you hear on the airplane when they're talking about the seatbelt and how to wear your life vest. The listening I'm talking about is I'm going to share four numbers with you that if you don't repeat back to me, you miss a chance of winning a million dirhams. That's the kind of listening I'm talking about. There's no raising of voices and certainly no violence whatsoever. And it's really to understand and the other person's perspective and to give them a chance to express themselves rather than bottling it all in, which we all know eventually like a volcano that can erupt. So I hope you enjoyed my five tips. My name is Sahil Mehta. You can find me on Instagram. My hashtag is decluttering.coach. I wish you a wonderful day.